Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Allow me to speak in languages all throughout my speech. Let me start with the Latin phrase, non nobis domine, non nobis, sed nomine tuo da gloriam. That is, not to us, Lord, not to us, but to your name, give the glory. Those words are actually from King David, the psalmist, written in the book of Psalms, chapter 113. There are so much graduation waiting for you. Today is just one of them. And with all those graduations, let us be reminded of the fact that it is not about me, myself, and I alone. But most importantly, it is all about the God who sustains our well-being through thick and thin. Before I continue, let me first utter my words of gratitude to current administrators faculty, and staff of my beloved alma mater, Bonifacio Elementary School. Daghang salamat, shukran, terima kasih, danke, arigato, gracias, muchas gracias. Maraming salamat po sa inyong imbitasyon sa akin para maging panauhing tagapagsalita ngayong araw. Now, let me share with you some of my life experiences. Let me start with the confession. I am not a full breed BES alumnus. I may have started my kindergarten here under Mrs. Pangramuyan, but my parents transferred me to Laes para daw bumait ako. Kala mo naman talaga napaksalbay itong bata. Kidding aside, there I studied really hard. Private school yun eh, di ba? So sayang naman ang bayad kung hindi ako mag-aaral lang mabuti. And guess what? I received academic awards. Then, doon na patunayan ko na hindi ako bobo. Pero ilan lang ba kami noon? Uh, wala pa yata ang sampo. But after a year there, my parents took me back here in Bonifacio for the rest of my grade school. Every year, kasali ako sa recognition day. O, di ba? But, uh, uh, pero, ang award ko usually ay, kung hindi A1 child, ay well-groomed. O, di ba? I never consider myself genius nor smart. I am just like any other students like you. It just so happened that I am the one speaking in front of you to deliver my speech. All throughout my basic education years, I believe that my first love is mathematics. But it turned out that language courses loved me first. Is still manifesting now. Currently, I am taking Master of Arts in Applied Linguistics. Bakay tanong nyo. So, nahan ko na kayo. Sir Bro, bakit uh, hindi ka puyata na papagod mag-aral? Ang sagot ko dyan ay, kapag nalaman mo na marami ka pang hindi alam, hindi ka titigil sa pag-aaral. When I entered the seminary, palaging sinasabi ng mga tao na, Napakatagal niyan, sampung taon kang mag-aaral, para kang nag-doktor. Ngayon, pwede kong sabihin na pwede pong lampas pa ng 10 years bago maging ganap na pare. Depende pa yon kung mabait ka. Ang buhay natin ay isang paglalakbay. Saan ka man dalhin, ang awi mo'y dito rin. So my dear graduates, savor your years as youth. Enjoy every moment. Cherish the people around you and make memories. We are sorry for you may have been deprived of so many things brought by the pandemic. That includes your commencement exercises that we are doing right now, virtually. But let us always look on the brighter side. COVID-19 did shut our second homes. In your case, the Maripasio Elementary School. But your own homes became your second school, so to speak. Don't worry. My experience ko rin graduate virtually on June 2020. We were called the pandemic batch of the seminary. But I also experienced the face-to-face -face graduation in college at Manuel Senberga University Foundation on June 2019. Don't get me wrong. I have a long story to tell, but 
to sum up my college years. It took me nine long years of studying before I wear before I wear this toga with two colors of gold. With all the things that you and I have surpassed, thanks be to God. As you pursue your dreams, continue showing to the world how resilient you are, even in the face of so much adversities awaiting on the road of your journey. Make them stepping stones, not stumbling blocks. Be the roads that you will be passing through so that those behind you might travel easier. Don't let hardships, struggles, nor sufferings bring you down. And when you inevitably fall, look back and get up to remind yourself once and for all that you are halfway of your destination. Hindi kailanman magiging masama ang magkamali kung matututo tayo at itutuwid ang mga bagay na ito. Isang katotohanan sa ating buhay, hindi tayo perfecto. At okay lang na magkamali, okay lang na masaktan, okay lang na masudatan, pero sa kabila ng lahat ng yan, dapat marami tayong natutunan. If you came across or if you came to visit my Facebook account, there you will, uh, there you will be welcomed by the Latin maxim, que nocem docem, that is in my bio, that is translated as things that hurt, teach. And indeed, ang mga bagay na nakakasakit sa atin ay makapagtuturo sa atin. With that being said, hindi ko napapahabain pa. Congratulations, BES Batch 2022. My brotherly blessings to each one of you. Thank you very much and thank you Bonifacio Elementary School. Padayon, mga pag-asa ng bayan.